Alright, so now that everything else is pretty much done, I'm just going to go ahead and lash this, the prod, onto the stock. I'm going to be using some brown polypropylene twine. This stuff is really nice. It kind of looks like sinew when dried, kind of. So I'm using about seven, you know, of my wingspan. I just pulled out about seven lengths to make one length. And I'm going to be using that to just wrap around. So what I'm going to be doing is first, I'm just going to take my end and just hold it on the front, or on the back of the bow. I'm going to bring it back, you can see, and bring it back, bring it under the string, and then bring it back over the front. You see that. It was really simple, I just made a little loop. And then I bring that around the back of the bow, pull that tight, and then I do the same thing, where I bring it around the outside first, then around the inside, and then this goes and crisscrosses around the back of the bow. You can see it. Crisscrosses around the back of the bow to the other side. You just tighten that, make sure this end is tight, and then you just can kind of release pressure a little bit. So then you bring that around to this side, you bring it over the top, like that, bring it around, and then you want to bring it around the back of the bow, again, just like you did on the other side. And now I like to hold this loose end here and just kind of tuck it in so that when you bring this length over, if I can kind of get it tight, bring this length over, it will hide that loose end. Let me just straighten everything up real quick. Then you continue, bring this around the outside, bring this back around the inside, and then bring it around the back again. So I'm just going to keep doing this crisscrossing around until I've got a nice solid wrap. So that's going to be about five to six wraps going across. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So as you can see, I've got my wraps on both sides. So now the the bow is pretty much secure. What I'm going to do is take my loose end. You can see from this side, pull this really tight, and then bring this around all my other wraps. So if you can see. I'm actually going to be pulling this through, and once I do a couple of these reps, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. This is kind of the finishing touch here that's going to really make sure that this bow doesn't go anywhere. So, once I've wrapped about three times, what I'm going to do is actually take uh, an extra piece here and I'm going to make a loop. And I'm going to take this loop and place it right on the side here. If you can see that, I've got the loop right here so that when I go ahead and complete one wrap, I'm actually wrapping over this loop. 
Can you see that? So now that loop is underneath the wrap. So I'm just going to take this and wrap it around as many times as I can until I reach the end of my cord. Alright, so now that I've reached the end, I'm going to take the loose end and pass it through the loop. Then I take the loop, I pull it up, and what I've done is I've taken this wrap and brought it under all of these loops. So now I just pull it back on itself and I pull it tight, as you can see. And that's going to hold this wrap together. So now that I've got that, my wrap is pretty much finished. And this crossbow prod is not going anywhere. 